Today I'm going to be reading from the I Am devotional book that we started to take a look at. But the original story is from Genesis 12 to 21, Promises for Abraham. God said to Abraham, I want you to leave the town where you live and go to a land that I will show you. I will bless you and make you great so that all the people on earth will be blessed through you. And so Abraham told his servants and his wife Sarah to pack their things up. They got their bedrolls, their tents, their cooking pots, their water jugs and lanterns, and they left their home to go to where God wanted them to go. God led Abraham and Sarah to the land of Canaan. God told them, I will give this land to your family someday. Must have been surprising for Abraham because he didn't have any children. But God knew, you will have a son. You will have a big family. God told Abraham to look up at the stars. Can you count them all? No, there are too many to count. And that's how big your family will be. I will give your family all this land. Abraham believed in what God said, and so he waited and waited and waited. When Abraham was 99 and Sarah was 90, God spoke to Abraham again, saying, I am God all-powerful. I can do anything. I will bless you and give you a big family, and I will give your family all the land of Canaan. Sarah will have a baby boy. To which Abraham laughed. He could barely believe it. They were much too old to have a baby. Well, it will happen about this time next year, God told Abraham. Still, Abraham had faith. He believed in what God said and waited again. Now, three visitors came to see Abraham one day as he sat outside his tent under a big oak tree. Now, two of the visitors were angels and one was the Lord. Abraham hurried to have a meal fixed for them and while they ate, he stood under the tree and waited. Sarah watched and waited from inside the tent, peering and overhearing God say to Abraham, Sarah will have a son by this time next year. Now this time, that thought made Sarah laugh. <laughs> I'm too old to have a baby, she thought to herself. But we know that God is all powerful. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too impossible for God. And you know what? Abraham and Sarah did have that baby boy, just like God said they would. They named him Isaac. He was the beginning of a very big family that God promised to Abraham. And this family would live in the land of Canaan, and this family would bless all the people of the world, just like God had promised. And so, I don't know about you, but I make promises sometimes and as much as I try to keep those promises I just don't have the power to do it. Now one of these promises that I made was to my family, my kids and my wife. We had promised ourselves to go on a wonderful vacation to Disneyland. We had our plane tickets booked, we had passes to Disneyland already paid for and ready to go. We had promised ourselves a wonderful awesome time having a vacation there but that was planned for the end of March. And if you remember what happened in March, everything shut down. There were no more flights. There were no more trips. Borders were closed. Even though I had promised my family to go on a wonderful vacation, even though I promised to have an awesome time uh, down in California, I just could not keep that promise. As much as I tried, I couldn't make airplanes go on flights. I couldn't make the borders open up again. I don't have the power to let Disneyland open up and let me in. And so as much as I wanted to, that was a promise that I just couldn't keep. And I'm sure there have been promises that you've made that have unfortunately had to be broken. Or maybe somebody promised you something and you felt the disappointment because it couldn't happen. That type of stuff never happens with God. He is all powerful. Whatever God says, it will happen. Whatever God promises, he has the power to actually make it happen, to actually do it. You see, when God spoke to Abraham and gave him that special promise, it was actually called a covenant. It's a fancy word that basically means a special 
promise from God. And in those days, a covenant was a really big deal. In fact, they would, sorry, gross out alert, they would actually split an animal in half and you would walk through the blood and the guts. Basically to say, if I break my promise, you have permission to do this gross, awful, violent stuff to me if I break the promise. So kind of a big deal. Here's the interesting thing though, when God made that covenant, that special promise with Abraham, it was only God who passed through that blood and guts and all that mess there. Basically, God was saying, I know you won't be able to keep your side, Abraham, but I am God and I am all powerful and I am able to keep my side of the promise. I will give you those things that I've promised to you. You will have this huge family and this family will receive this land and the whole world will be blessed through this family. God said it and it happened. Only God all-powerful, El Shaddai, can keep his promises all the time because he is God. Psalm 121 from verses 3 to 4 says, The one who watches over you never slumbers or sleeps. God never gets tired. Nothing is too hard for him. No one else has power like God's power. In fact, Jeremiah 10 verse 6 says, Lord, there is no one like you. You are great and your name is full of power. So as we think about this, as we celebrate this, and as we remember this, let's pray and thank God that we have his power on our side, giving us his promises for good, not to harm us, but to give us a hope and a future. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you because you are full of power. We feel safe and secure because of it. And we know that what you say is true and will always happen. You have the power to do it. And so let us trust and remember your promises and praise you and worship you and have no anxieties or worries because we know you take care of us and you love us and your promises are firm forever. In your name we pray, amen. Let's worship God together as we remember his promise and the power that he has to keep them.